And fortunately, no severe damage has been reported due to those high winds, but more than 20,000 SDG&E customers are without power tonight as part of the public safety power shutoffs. News 8's Abby Alford is live near Ramona with more on an outage that's impacting drivers. Abby? Marcella and Barbara Lee, just in the last 15 minutes, CHP officers came out here and put stop signs out at this traffic light that's been out on State Route 67 and Poway Road. We tweeted them about it because we were concerned. We'd seen so many drivers blow through this light and seen near misses. Also, the wind is concerned. It's 10 o'clock at night, and on our wind gauge right here, it says that there is about six miles per hour, which doesn't seem that high, but you can see I'm wearing my scarf. It is chilly out here, and it's the second night without power for 25,000 SDG&E customers. Second night with no power at the Baldiv house in Ramona that's running on a generator. We have no water. Red flag and high wind warnings. It's been rough over the past couple of weeks. The wind slowed a bit at night, but the warnings forced outages for 25,000 SDG&E customers under the public safety power shutoff. At night, and it's... Uh, just rough in general. During the evening commute, we saw Cal Fire engines roar by and quickly extinguish a car fire at Scripps Poway Parkway in State Route 67, where the light is out. The next traffic light over at Poway Road and the 67 was out too, making it tough to see. There's no blinking red light or a stop sign. We witness near misses. Caltrain says they'll call it in. Business is slow at Ramona Tire Pros, where Michael Tarantino works. People are just uh, anxious and they don't want to leave their homes in case a fire sparks off. So nobody's coming to get their cars worked on. Back up the hill in Santa Isabel, the 41 mile per hour wind so strong it blew off and bent Arabach Farms, new sign who's getting ready to open a new restaurant. This is crazy strong out here. In Julian, families have lived through the 2007 Witch Creek fires, several evacuations, and say they've learned more in this last week. I say I think they're better prepared. As the sun sets, the quietness of the backcountry is replaced by the echoing sounds of generators during the fire season. If you think about the big picture, if that's the worst that happens, we're all good. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just an inconvenience. Everybody's okay. And as Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis reported that these winds are expected throughout the night until tomorrow. This red flag warning is scheduled to expire tomorrow at 6 p.m. Now, depending on the weather conditions and any damages, according to SG Genie's outage map, power should be fully restored to all of its customers by Friday night at 6. Barbara Lee. All right, Abby, thank you.